It was such an honor to get to sit down and talk with Julia Payne, who's a senior technical director at Turner Broadcasting. Kind of a big deal. She is humble, she is sharp, and her leadership skills are hailed by many, as you can see from her LinkedIn profile. She is also a cancer survivor, which is just amazing. So please tune in now to my episode with Julia Payne of Connect. Joining us, us this morning, Tatanya Jordan. Tatiana Jordan. Did I get the name right? Jordan. Tatanya. Tatanya. Okay. Tatanya. okay. Tatanya. It's Tatanya, Tatanya Jordan. Jordan. Welcome everyone to Connect. I always love it when I get to have a fellow female in tech on the show. And today I have Julia Payne, Senior Technical Director at Turner Broadcasting. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. Um, so for people watching who don't know what that means, what's a Senior Technical Director? Uh, I'm on the web technology side of the house at mm -hmm. Turner. There are all sorts of technology teams mm -hmm. that are um, you know, working on the television side, on the digital side. I'm primarily focused on the digital side. So I manage uh, three different teams of web developers. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of important. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, How I'm long have it. you been doing that? So I've been with Turner going on seven years. Okay. Um, previous to that, I was in the newspaper industry for a long time and did the same thing. You know, I started as a developer and then I got into managing developers on the, in the digital web space. Wow. So. And so uh, did you always know you wanted to pursue a career in STEM? I didn't. You know, I, um, I, the, the degree that I had was actually in graphic communications okay. and um, more focused on the printing industry at the time. Yeah. So graphic design with the uh, focus on printing. Mm -hmm. uh, I graduated from college, went to Clemson, uh, graduated there and realized pretty quickly that I did not want to be a graphic designer. Um, I enjoyed the computer side of things. Yeah. I loved that, but I wasn't a designer at heart. So, uh, so I transitioned more into the web design, web development space and just grew from there. Now, what what uh, part of the you know time and space continuum were you in that becoming a web developer? Like, was it was it the '90s? Was it the 2000s? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I finished school in '97, so uh, you know it was the, the late '90s. Okay, and so what was the landscape like back then? Because I always toy with the idea of like maybe like you know in my free time I can yeah. you know take some courses at Georgia Tech and learn how to code. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I'm just sure it, it, it's a lot different. Yeah, I mean it was all just very grassroots and everyone was learning on their own. So you'll see a lot of folks out there uh, similar to me that don't have CS degrees but that just got into it on their own and dabbled and learned and loved it. So um, it was just a time of a lot of trial and error and you know the dot com boom and bust and. You know, it was a crazy time, but things sort of started to stabilize, you know, in the early 2000s. I, I think it's a lot that. easier to be a self-taught developer now than it was then. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it's um, anybody who, you know, was in this tech space before smartphones, before Google, yeah. I mean, that, that's a whole other level of discipline yeah. uh, and, and drive. Um, now everything's just at your fingertips, yeah. so um, it's crazy. And what do, is there a specific language you gravitate towards or a platform or yeah you know I always gravitated towards the open uh, source side of the house mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason I just got passionate about it early on in my career and so it was actually one of the things that uh, drew me to Turner was seeing a big company like that uh, do some things in the open space in open source technology nice and you are a mom I am. Of three uh, children? Two boys. Two boys, okay. Mm -hmm. Mom of two boys, um, how has it been navigating uh, a career and motherhood? So, uh, <laughs> challenging at times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, I've been blessed to work for companies that have had a lot of work-life balance over the years. You know, Turner's been great about that and previous companies too. Uh, you know, we work hard and we play hard. So, you know, when it's on, it's on and I'm focused. And, you know, if I need to get back on it on the weekends or at night, I will. Um, and then there are times a year where things are a little bit more mellow and I can, you know, jump out and do school events and things. So. Yeah, that's, um, it was really hard for me when I had my son Jackson uh, in 2009. I was working at a local radio station and there really wasn't that, you know, work-life balance thing. And 
um, I was pumping in the prize closet. Like yeah. this isn't this isn't going to work <laughs> for me. You know, I can't like have a newborn and then be out, you know, drinking cocktails and entertaining clients at 7 p.m. Like yeah. I haven't slept all night. So um, now in the in the space that I'm in in the startup world, I, you know, I could have my newborn with me, like mm-hmm. back behind the cameras, somebody watching him or her and rocking her and like yeah. it just. I just wish, sometimes I wish I could do it all over again. Um, but, you know, when you're a new mom, you're just figuring it out. Yeah. And um, really, really encourage all the companies out there that don't take a hard look at their maternity mm-hmm. and paternity policies to, to think about that because America's like way behind, yeah. way behind other countries. But it's really cool to hear about local companies, big companies like Turner yeah, who, sure. who have it right. So kudos to you for making it easier for, for moms and dads in the workspace. Yep. And you also told me uh, in our conversation earlier, and we don't have to go into this if you don't want to, but it's pretty compelling. Um, you actually are a breast cancer survivor. I am. Can we talk about that? Sure, yeah, happy to. Oh my gosh. So uh, first of all, I'm, I'm so uh, glad that you're you're here. You're, I'm good, you've yes. You've survived. Cancer free, thank yeah. you. Three years. Three years, wow. And so what, what was that like? So I felt a lump right after uh, my second child was born. Uh, so I was still on maternity leave while I was working at Turner and, and I just noticed something was funny. And, and I went to the doctor, got it checked out, and sure enough, it was, uh, stage one, it was early, and I caught it early, and um, I was very aggressive about pushing forward on treatment and just getting it done. Mm-hmm. Um, a big lesson, you know, I think for a lot of women out there is just to always advocate for yourself. Yes. You know, I, I could have just sort of sat on it and said, eh, it's just a lump, it'll, you know, it's no big deal, and then it gets worse. So, you know, always just be looking out for yourself. That's the message I try to, to make sure women are getting tested and getting checked out. Absolutely. Early. Monthly breast self-examinations. Yeah. Go see your OBGYN and your primary care physician. Like, they're there yeah. for you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so it was a crazy time, definitely, uh, with an eight-week-old, nine-week-old, and getting that information. I was just in the middle of buying a house. You know, it was, it was a lot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, in hindsight, I think what really helped me was pushing forward in a positive way mm-hmm. and just not, you know, I, I mean, I definitely had my week or two of just, I'm going to cry and get it out of my system. And then I just got focused on, I'm going to kick this thing's tail and yeah. I'm going to be positive and I'm, I'm not going to drag the people around me down with what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know, just staying positive helped everyone around me stay positive, helped me stay, you know, just sort of all kind of, you know, revolved in positivity, which was a good thing because you can, if you get down and it, you know, it can just make it so much harder on you and everyone around you. Absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah. Positive mindset is, yeah. is key in so many instances. Yeah. And I'm not saying it wasn't hard at times, yeah. but you know, just in general that I, I really tried to stick with that. So. And, um, you know, you mentioned you definitely cried and I just want to put it out there like it's okay to cry. <laughs> like your body physiologically releases endorphins when you cry. Like yeah. God made you to cry so that you could feel better. So don't hold it in, like let it yeah. out, you know, yeah, just let it out and then you'll feel better. Yeah. You don't need to keep all that in. I practice that often. <laughs> just at home. I try in to my do car, it at home. <laughs> in the fetal position. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Have you ever seen that, uh, that meme online of the woman laying on the street, she's alive, but she's just laying in the middle of the road, and above her head it says, I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> just taking a little nap. <laughs> I, I reference that a lot. A little rest. <laughs> Everything is great. Yeah. Um, but getting back on track, mm-hmm. I am uh, so thankful that you, you shared your story, because yeah. again, um, a lot of people see women uh, like you in uh, great leadership roles, and forget that everybody has a backstory. Yeah. And they think, man, they're just so lucky and so smart and probably never had a bad day in their life. And that's not true. We yeah. all have our own challenges, uh, but it's about your mindset and how you overcome them. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you stay positive? How do you stay focused? So, you know, now here I am a few years later, my boys are older and I just, you know, I love being a mom. Um, I, I, I love working too, though. I, yes. I really have been career driven my whole life and you know both children I came out of maternity leave just ready to get back to work and just keep charging so um, I, I try to balance the two and um, and just in, enjoy them and enjoy but enjoy my job too and what do they say about about your job 
what, are, what is their perception of uh, having a working mom? So my older son is nine, and I bring him to work with me occasionally if he's out of school. And uh, you know, even though I don't work for Cartoon Network, he thinks it's the coolest thing that Cartoon oh, yeah. Network is part of Turner. Uh, it <laughs> totally is. My eight and a half year old will agree with your nine year old. Yeah. So he <laughs> loves it. You know, my husband cannot compete with a mom that works for Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he has a good time. Yeah. You know, we, we walk around and we check out the studios and you know some of the cool things going on around Turner. That's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, whenever like my mom guilt kicks in which actually isn't that often um, because I was raised by a single working mom and so that's just kind of normal to me um, I think about the fact that you know my son is loved my son yeah. has clothes shelter food and again love so I think he'll grow up to respect the fact that I am busting my tail yeah. uh, to pay for, for college sure. yeah. and, you know, <laughs> give him a good life. My mother worked. My grandmother's worked. You know, it was something that I just never even imagined not working. Yeah. So, um, you know, just I think instilling that in, in my sons that, um, you know, respecting women mm -hmm. in the workplace and respecting that women have just as much to offer as men is something that I really want to continue to do, <laughs> you know, as they get older. Yes, <laughs> yes. Speaking of that, that... Uh, females in the workplace dynamic, women in tech. Mm -hmm. um, I heard that Turner uh, is celebrating a uh, one-year anniversary of launching an initiative yeah, internally, yeah. Ladies in Technology, That's right. um, which is great. Yeah. Kudos to you for doing that. Um, what has that experience been like? Yeah, I cannot take any credit for it. There <laughs> were other women in the organization. There were two fabulous women in the organization that got it off the ground. And uh, it's really been uh, it's been good. They do you know a lot of brown brown bags where they bring in speakers. I actually spoke recently, nice, <laughs> which was really fun. Great. Um, I probably gave up too much dirty laundry, but <laughs> you know what? Okay. The more authentic, seriously, it was more, authentic. For the sure. more authentic we can be, the more the like shroud of fabulousness is yeah. is disintegrated. And we realize like yeah. we're all just trying to get through life together. Yeah. What yeah, did you definitely. speak about? Um, so, you know, it was similar. It was me and three other women in technology, mm -hmm. and they were, uh, we were just talking through, you know, what have we learned in our careers? What challenges have we had? What can we help younger women coming along with? You know, maybe something they can avoid, something they can do differently. Um, so it was fun. Uh, but they do brown bags like that. They, uh, we just finished a, a leadership program that was through a partnership with the Anita Borg Institute. Yes. And um, Turner's a, a sponsor of that as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they've got some neat things going on. And there's a group right here in Atlanta uh, uh, from ABI. And so we can hopefully link to that um, below in the description when you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, learn more about and, and support that yeah. in our community. Um, totally gonna just piggyback on what Turner uh, brought to the table for everybody listening to you speak and, and ask you, um, you know, what have you learned and, and what sort of insight mm -hmm. would you like to impart to the younger generation? You know, it's uh, one of the things I touched on last week was it's not uh, always, it, it can be challenging being a woman, especially in a male dominated field. And I've made mistakes in the past of being too emotional and too, you know, too sort of far slanted one way or the other. And women, unfortunately, have to just be very cautious of that because you can get branded in a certain way. Mm. And sometimes that branding won't leave you until you leave, a, you know, go to a new company. So yeah. you have to be careful, unfortunately, that you don't want to get branded as the too emotional person or the person who's too much of a, you know, hard, <laughs> you know what? So. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, Sort of aggressive. A, yeah, yeah, too aggressive. Um, and it's just a double standard, unfortunately, we have to deal with. So um, so I talked a little bit about that, just mm -hmm. some mistakes I've made. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be tough and shouldn't push forward and shouldn't make sure your voice is heard, but mm -hmm. I think there's a way that women can do it uh, where you're not branded one way or the other. Yeah, and, and a, a good point I like to try to remember frequently is that Everyone makes mistakes, yeah. so you can bounce back from that. Yeah. You know, don't be afraid to fail. Fail fast, but but don't be afraid to fail and and learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Get honest feedback about how you can do better and do different. Yeah. Um, I don't think any mistakes you maybe made in your past have negatively impacted you because I was reading on your LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. People have some really nice things to say about you. <laughs> I just want to I want to brag on you for a minute. I took some screenshots. Julia is a rare talent. She is remarkably committed to and passionate about her work. Her positive energy is contagious. I've benefited directly from her ability to bring the best out of those that report to her and work with her. And it goes on and on and on. Like, that's really awesome. <laughs> thank you. Well, I mean, don't thank me. Thank the people that gave you LinkedIn. Uh, Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. But um, <laughs> what would you say uh, 
is the embodiment of your leadership style? I focus on the team culture. So, you know, there's always going to be things going on around you with the company, you know, um, reorgs or people moving, people leaving, people coming and going. And you can't let that drag down or change the culture that you're trying to set within your team. So um, I just want to always be having fun and be really positive and I like to get to know the folk, everybody on the team um, and just make sure that the culture in our team is set and it's not necessarily being affected. You know, I want them to know what is always going on at a higher level, but, um, but they shouldn't be taking you know, challenges home at night with them that don't affect them on a daily basis. Yeah. How do you personally stay encouraged positive. like do you work out is it some aromatherapy thing i don't know about like i just bottle it up yeah and, you know, <laughs> it'll come out at some point <laughs> no i don't know i it's not easy you know it's, it's, I'm, making, I'm making it sound so easy and it's not um you know my husband and i both work and you know you just you want to make sure not to go home and just beat up on your spouse at night and listen to all this stuff going on. You know, you, yeah. you, you got to balance it with having someone to talk to, having a, um, you know, a way to get it out of your mm -hmm. system, um, but not, you know, going overboard with that, mm -hmm. which I've done before. Um, I like to run, you know, I love doing things with my kids. I love the outdoors and, you know, anytime I can get out hiking, it's about the happiest time. Oh, that's so <laughs> great. Yeah. Spending out time outside with my family is like, probably the biggest cure-all for everything. It just yeah. refocuses um, your your viewfinder. You're like, wow, there's you know a really bright blue sky, and it's like really big. Yeah. So my little problems, like yeah. little ants, you know? It's yeah. like there's a whole big beautiful world out there, and yeah. just thankful you can breathe it in and breathe that fresh air. Definitely. Awesome. <laughs> um, Julia, it's really cool to, to meet you, to talk to you, to um, learn about what you have done, and. Uh, I guess next I want to hear, what are you most excited about for the future? With work, family? You know, Anything. Surprise, surprise us. Surprise you. Huh. Um, retiring early? <laughs> <laughs> yes! On an island, maybe? Yes. In the mountains? <laughs> I mean, I do have some personal goals. I want to learn how to speak Spanish. Yes. Uh, you know, there are things like that. that okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I took French classes when I was younger, and they have not really benefited me. Same um, here. I haven't kept it up. Yeah. So I want to um, take more time on me for mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but, I, you know, I just I enjoy what I do, and I enjoy my family. I love to travel. Um, you know, those are the things that I, you know, you just have these mini milestones mm -hmm. that you set for yourself every year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go there. I'm going to... Um, that, that's how I keep driving forward. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And, you know, the, the Internet space is a really, really cool place. The fact that um, people can rally together who don't even know each other to make big things happen is just such a cool thing to witness yeah. in 2017 and, and beyond. So is there anything that anybody out there watching could maybe pour into uh, and support that you feel yeah. strongly about? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you asked about leadership style earlier, you know, one thing I, I didn't touch on was it, it's all about the the efforts of the team as a whole. And that just makes me feel good at the end of the day. It's been a long time since I was an individual contributor and was doing anything that was really helping get the product out the door myself. It's all about the team and, and bringing it together as a big product. And so... Um, that, that's one thing that just makes me happy at the end of the day, is just seeing us deliver something as a team. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> one of my favorite sayings that I always steal uh, from the Atlanta Tech Village is teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. It's like, love it, might, might get that tattooed <laughs> on my arm. Um, Julia, thank you so much for being here and for your time. Thank you, appreciate it, I enjoyed it. <laughs>